We are now going to go through the process of relaxation and to begin with I want you to settle back and get yourself as comfortable as you possibly can in the chair, the bed or whatever surface it happens to be that you're resting upon. I want you to begin to loosen any uncomfortable clothing and just slip your shoes or your slippers off so that you feel as at ease as is possible. We're going to begin first of all by focusing on the sounds that you can hear inside and outside of the building. A ticking on a clock, a car passing outside on the road. Think about those sounds, absorb them in and then gradually begin to let them fade away and focus instead on my voice and on the music that you can hear coming up in the background. I want you to now become aware of your breathing in and out, in and out. With each breath that you take, feel a steady rise and fall of your chest up and down. And just try and maintain your breathing in a steady pattern as we go into now doing the exercises. We're going to begin with the muscles in the lower half of your body, starting with those that run up through the soles of your feet. And to tense the muscles up here, I want you to point your toes forwards as if you were going up on tiptoe. As you do this, you find that the muscles contract and the feet are pulled into an arched position. Tension begins to gather, and the longer you hold this position, the greater the amount of tension you will experience. Feel what it's like. Feel how it affects the muscles. And then begin to let the muscles stretch out. As they do so, bit by bit, all the tension that had gathered within them is steadily pulled away until at last the feet will have resumed their former position and the muscles within them have been left in a state of relaxation. From there now, we go on to the long muscles within the legs. And these travel from the knees across the shins to the ankles and from there in across the top of the feet to the toes. To tense these up, bend your ankles upwards so that your toes point towards your knees. The moment you do this, you can feel tension begin to gather. It builds rapidly and at last you may find that your legs begin to tremble as a result of the tension. Hold this exercise to the count of three and then let the feet descend towards the floor. One, two, three and let the feet drop downwards. That movement causes the muscles to stretch out. The tension that had formed here drains away until eventually you will find the muscles of the shins and the top of the feet have been left feeling at ease. Around the back of the lower legs we come to the muscles of the calves and to tense these up, tighten them just as much as is comfortable for you. Once you have done that, focus your attention on the calf muscles. Think about how they feel, tight, cramped and uncomfortable. With a cold, unpleasant sensation within them there where the muscles have been tightened up. Think about these feelings because you have created them with the tension you formed here. Hold it. And then experience the difference as you start to let the tension go. The calf muscles soften, they become more yielding, more malleable. The cold unpleasant sensation within them fades away and is instead replaced by ones of heaviness and warmth which feel completely different but definitely more pleasant to what had existed there before. From there we now move on to the largest muscles in your whole body and those are the muscles of the thighs. To tense these up just recreate the exercise we did in the calves, that one of tightening. Tighten up your thigh muscles. As you do this, the thighs become rigid and rise up from the soft surfaces that you're resting upon. The long muscles in the group are pulled out as if they were ropes being used in a tug of war match. There is not a pick of give anywhere within them. Feel the tension you have created here. It's tension we generally miss as when it occurs we're active, we're moving about and we're concentrating in the direction we're going as opposed to the tension being created. And then let the tension go. Feel the muscles soften. 
Feel them begin to sink down deeper and deeper into the cushions beneath you until at last the thighs have come to rest in a comfortable position. Finally within the lower half of the body we come to the muscles of the buttocks. To tense these up press the cheeks together again just as tight as is comfortable. This is a difficult exercise to do so hold the tension for a moment and then release it. I want you to think about the muscles that make up the lower half of your body, the feet, the shins, the calves, the thighs and buttocks. Think about how those muscle groups feel, heavy, warm and at ease, but with the overwhelming sensation that if you were to attempt to stand up, your legs would just crumple beneath you because they feel so relaxed. And now move back to your breathing, remembering to keep it steady in and out, in and out, as we direct our concentration to the muscles in the upper half of the body. And we're going to start with the right arm and in particular the right hand. And I want you to draw the fingers of your right hand into a fist, just as tight as is comfortable for you. Once you have done that, feel where the tension is the greatest across the knuckles, the finger joints, the bony prominences. Think overall how the hand feels, tight, cramped and uncomfortable, with a burning sensation in the palm where the fingers have been locked into place. Hold it, feel it. And then slowly begin to let the fingers open out you almost have to force them to extend. With that initial movement, a rush of tension leaves the hand. You may then find that little remnants of tension remain around the knuckles and finger joints, and you can break those last bits up by gently moving your fingers backwards and forwards. With that, the tension disperses away and the hand is left feeling light and at ease. From the hand, we then move upwards to the muscles of the forearm, which run from the elbow to the wrist in the back and inner part of the arm. To tense these up, I want you to bend your wrist inwards so that the fingers point towards the inner part of the arm. As you do this, you find that two different things happen. Firstly, the muscles on the inside contract and become bulky down towards the elbow. The opposite occurs at the back as the muscles stretch out as tightly as they can and most tension forms there, particularly across the little bones at the back of the wrist. Hold it, feel the tension and then begin to let the wrist drop back. As it does so, the muscles stretch out and expand in a long fluid movement that immediately breaks down all the tension that had gathered here and within seconds leaves those muscles in a state of relaxation. On across the elbow, we move to the triceps and biceps, the power muscles, which travel from the elbow up into the shoulder joint. Tense these up using whatever exercise works best for you. As you create the tension, you find that it's pushed outwards. The muscles expand. And because they're in such a confined space, eventually they end up resembling the bodybuilders that you see on television. Hold the tension, feel what it's like, and then let it go, let your right arm come down to rest. I want you to think about it and how it feels, heavy, warm and at ease. And then compare it to the left arm which hasn't yet gone through the exercises and which in comparison feels quite cold, tight and uncomfortable. We're going to see if we can change those sensations there by repeating those three exercises and I want you to begin by drawing the fingers of your left hand into a fist. Once you have done that you begin to experience a build up of tension comparable to that which occurred within the right hand. As the tension increases you can almost imagine that you can see the knuckles and finger joints gleaming whitely through the skin as a result of it. Try and keep the tension at a steady level. 
and begin to let the fingers open out. Gently move them backwards and forwards and with those movements you can feel the tension within the hand break down and then begin to drain away through the fingertips into space. As the tension exits, you then become aware of a tingling sensation travelling from the wrist to the palm to each finger. And this is simply the blood supply being restored, taking with it warmth and relaxation to your hand. As before, when we crossed from the hand, we moved to the muscles of the forearm. And I want you to use the same exercise of bending the wrist inwards to tense the muscles up here. As you do this, little knots of tension begin to form throughout the muscles. As the knots increase, the muscles shorten, and after a while, you can almost imagine that the muscles are completely knotted up in a mass of tangles that can never become undone. Try and keep that imagery within your mind for a few moments. And then let the wrist drop back. As it does so, the muscles begin to stretch out and expand. Those movements combined begin to cause the little muscles one by one to unravel and fade away, quicker and quicker, until eventually the last knot becomes undone, and with that you find the muscles of the forearm have been left feeling supple and relaxed. Finally within the arms we come to the triceps and biceps in the upper part of the left arm. Tense these up again using whatever exercise works best for you. Once you have formed the tension focus on it. Like the thigh muscles this is an area we generally miss tension within as when it forms we're lifting things, we're doing things with our hands and we're ignoring the tension. Feel the tension now, be aware of it and then release it. Let your left arm come down to rest and think about it, how it feels. No longer cold, tight and uncomfortable, but now resembling the right arm in that it's heavy, warm and at ease. From the arms, I want you to move upwards to the muscles of the shoulders, where an awful lot of tension can occur throughout our working day. The way this tension affects us is the muscles become tight. Our shoulders and back can become sore whenever we try to turn around and move. We're going to try and break a little bit of this tension down and we do so by shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears. Once you have created the exercise, hold it. Feel the tension there. Some of it's new, you've created it with the exercise but an awful lot of it was pre-existing. You weren't aware of it though because it felt normal. It has been there for so long. Feel the tension and then begin to let the shoulders drop down. Let the weight of your arms just pull them on lower and lower and when they finally come to rest, you should find that the shoulders and arms are in a lower position than when we started. And this tells you that some of the tension in that area has been dissolved. Closely associated with your shoulders are the muscles that run up on either side at the back of the neck. To break down the tension here, very slowly rotate your head around on your neck so that it's taking in a circle. Each time you circle your head, the muscles stretch and a little bit of the tension within them dissolves. Change the direction, just do it on the other side and then bring your head back into the centre once more and cease the exercise altogether. Those exercises for the neck and shoulders, they're very simple ones, but they're ones that you can repeat at different points throughout the day. It'll break down existing tension, but it'll also prevent any new tension being created here. From there, we go on to the face which is composed of the smallest, most mobile muscles of your whole body. It's that that makes it so expressive. It, however, also means that it's an area that tends to soak up tension like a sponge does water. We're going to begin to recreate this tension, and I want you to start by lifting your eyebrows up towards your hairline. 
As you do this, you find that the wrinkles in the forehead are forced out quite prominently. Tension begins to gather on either side of the temples, and the longer you hold the tension, the more you will feel. It may eventually resemble a tight band being tied around your head. Hold it. Keep the tension here for a few more moments. And let the eyebrows drop down. As they do so, the wrinkles fade as the skin smooths out across the brow. Bit by bit then, the tension at the temples lifts away until at last that whole area has been left feeling light and at ease. Directly beneath there, we come to the region around the eyes, the cheekbones and the nostrils. To tense these up, I want you to screw your eyes up tightly as if you were out in bright sunshine and trying to protect your eyes from the glare. Once you do this, you find that the nostrils flare, the cheek muscles contract and rise up and an awful lot of tension forms around the eye sockets. It may feel painful, so hold it to the count of three and then let it go immediately. One, two, three and release the tension. Feel the difference here. The minute you did that, all the tension around the eye sockets lifted away. The cheek muscles then softened and dropped down and the nostrils reverted to their original position. That whole area was left feeling relaxed. Lastly, in the face, we come to the muscles of the jawline. And to tense these up, we're going to recreate an exercise that we all do instinctively whenever we're annoyed or whenever we're worried. And that is to bite the teeth together. Once you do this, you find that the little muscles that run from one side of the jaw to the other contract. As they contract, tension gathers within them. And after a while, this can radiate up through your face towards your temples so that it is having an overall effect upon you. Hold the tension and let it go. As the muscles stretch, you may find that the teeth drop down a little and that all the muscles there relax and feel at ease. Finally, within your body, I want you to tense up the muscles of your stomach. As you do this, you may get a feeling of butterflies or nausea but don't worry about that, that's perfectly normal. Feel it and let it go. I want you to now take a deep breath in, maintain it for a moment, and as you slowly let it out, let the remaining tension in your body flow out with it. I want you to think about your body and how it feels, heavy, warm and at ease. And I now want you to take some time to yourself and just drift away with the music that you can hear in the background. <laughs> 